there by the Holy Ghost, water baptism in the name of Jesus, amen, and knowing who he is. Thank God for amen. amen for being saved. Realize, amen, that many people he's going to save, they've been better off than me. Wouldn't have had as much trouble out of it as he did me. But I thank God he saved me, amen. 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 We don't begin uh, talking to you today, amen, the thought the Lord give me from the 28th chapter of the book of Isaiah. Amen. The 28th chapter of Isaiah. Start at the first verse. Woe to the crown of pride, to the drunkards of Ephraim, whose glorious beauty is a faded flower, which are on the head of the fat batters of them that are overcome with wine. Behold, the Lord hath a mighty and strong one, which has a tempest of hell and a destroying storm, as a flood of mighty waters overflowing, shall cast down to the earth with the hand. The crown of pride, the drunkards of Ephraim, shall be trodden on the feet. And the glorious beauty which is on the head of the fat battle shall be a faded flower, and as a hasty fruit before the summer, which when he that looketh upon it seed, while it is yet in the hand, he eateth it up. Then first, in that day shall the Lord of hosts be for a crown of glory, and for a diamond of beauty, unto the residue of his people. Sixth verse, and for a spirit of judgment to him that sitteth in judgment, and for strength to them which turn the battle to the gate. But they also have air through wine and through strong drink, and are out of the way. The priest and the prophet have air through strong drink. They are swallowed up of wine. They are out of the way through strong drink. They err in fish and they stumble in judgment. Eight, for all tables are full of vomit and filthiness, so that there is no place clean. Whom shall he teach knowledge? Whom shall he make to understand knowledge? Them that are weaned from the milk and drawn from the breast. For a precept must be upon precept, precept upon precept. Line upon line, line upon line, hear the thou little. For with stammering lips on another tongue would he speak to this people. Amen. To whom he said, This is the rest, wherewith you may cause the weary to rest, and this is the refreshing, yet they would not hear. Amen. We thank and praise the Lord when you for a thought today, man, as the Lord give me, man. Whom shall he make to understand God? This is God asking a question. Whom shall he make to understand God? We live in a time now that we, the Apostle Paul, say, Amen, the last day will come, Amen. Men will depart from the faith, giving heed to seducing spirits and doctrines of them. First of all, a doctor is a teacher. Oh, yes, sir. It's a set of laws, the rules, something that used to govern the people, something that we need to know in order to be pleasing to God. Then Jesus gave me a parable, praise God. He said, amen, that if you build a house and build it up on the sand, no matter how great a house it is, brick, three-story, amen, all kind of military with everything, but if you fail to put a foundation, foundation. on it, all if right. you fail to put anything solid under it, amen, all right. All right. the wind's going to blow. Oh, yes, Lord. The rain's going to fall. Yeah. And just like a few little pigs' house, great gonna be the fall of that house. All right. What am I trying to say here? Doctrine is the foundation of the church. That's right. Doctrine is what the church is built upon. Yeah. I always say if you don't stand for something, you fall for anything. And we are trying not because men want to do a sound doctrine, amen, because people trying to believe it from the truth, amen. You got preachers just like these here out there, they drunk with wine. All right. Instead of the table being spread, the sound of stars said, come over here, the table is spread, the feast of the Lord is going on, but when you get to the house of God, oh. well, it should be doctrine, should be a man healthy food, yeah. you got all kind of fear, because yeah. preachers are no longer teaching sound doctrine. All right, all right. Tell it, tell it. They tell the people what they want to hear, they become ill tickled. Oh. Because they want to do a sound doctrine, the man that he's little self teacher have an inch and inch. Yeah. I believe that also, if you want to believe in Isaiah, he talked about, I believe, around a third of chapter somewhere. Yes. Amen. Well, 
He fully elaborated on this. Isaiah 30 and 9, somebody read it. Start Isaiah 30 and 1. Read the first verse, then go to the ninth verse. Woe to the rebellious children. Woe to the obedient children. Rebellious children. It looks like Isaiah was talking to a lot of church folks today. To the rebellious children, what? Saith the Lord. Uh huh. That take counsel. Look at here. They take counsel and listen to everybody but God. Everybody, every preacher coming out with a All new right. book. A new book telling you a purpose driven life. Telling you how to get along with God. They tell you everything but what you need to know. All you got to do is repent and live right here. Please God. All right. Amen. Read on. But not of me. They take a counsel, but not of me. All right. David said, Blessed is a man that walketh okay, not in the counsel of the ungodly. We ain't got nothing to listen to sermons. We ain't got nothing to listen to somebody out in the world. I don't care how great a speaker he is, praise God. If you're not saved, sanctified, holy, go filled, and living in the the word of God himself, we ain't got nothing to listen to. That's right. I believe Paul said in Romans, how can they hear without a preacher? A doctor from the seminary. A preacher. But how can they preach? Except he be sent. You got to be qualified, amen. There's too many folks nowadays getting up ready to leave, and they never learn to follow. All right. I, I lead you through something I never been through myself. All I, right. I, I, can, I can teach you what my father taught me, but then I'm going to come a time, I'm going to need some experience and all this All right. in school and the teacher gave you instruction told you now to work this problem out you add this subtract this carry you want but when you got home and looked at the book you went through all the instructions in your head but you still couldn't work the problem out oh. that's why the teacher would call you to the board say come here son work this problem out she write out that two plus two is what and you had to get up to scratch your head and figure out and work the problem out yourself all right you need some on the job training. Right. You need some experience in order to be able to go through some things. Right. You can't go through this life. You can't be saved on just what somebody tells you, amen. Right. I believe it said in the book of Romans we talked about this morning that we glory in tribulation. Yeah. But tribulation works in patience. Patience gonna bring experience. And experience is gonna bring hope. And hope gonna make you out of shame. You gonna have to go through right now. It's all right to look at what mom and daddy did. I want you to follow me as a pastor. Paul can follow me as I follow Christ. But some things you gonna have to learn on your own. My testimony ain't gonna help you. Amen. Some pastors try to pass the church is now based on their pastor's testimony. That's right. It's good to have your pastor's testimony, but you need your own experience. Amen. You need your own right. experience, amen. amen. All right. But I'll be reading, I'll be the rest of that verse. And that cover with the covering. But not of my spirit, uh -huh. that they may add sin to sin. When you walk in your own way, Jesus. you going to add sin to sin. sin. Instead of helping bring the people out of their sin, you're going to cause more sin. All right. You yeah. got a blind leader trying to lead the blind. All now right. Now sit down to the last person, right? And there, that this is a rebellious people. But now, let us get that eighth verse. It goes wrong with it. Now go. Write it before them in a the table. Uh huh. And note it in a book. Write this in a tablet and make a note of it in a book. Read. That it may be for the time to come, forever and ever. So I want whoever come along, I want it to be known that this was said. All That's right. why we got a record of it right here because mm -hmm. they wrote it on the table of stone and now we got it in a book. Read on. That this is a rebellious people. God's people always start out good, but in the end, they end up rebelling. Right. Once God bring them out of Egypt, get them out of sin, then they don't want to be told what to do. Oh. Get them out of Egypt. Once God got them out, amen, got Egypt, he got his people out of Egypt. When they got in the wilderness, they looked around at all the other nations. Oh. All of a sudden, Samuel had been the judge and Deborah and all the other disciples, the judges that God put over them, all of a sudden, we don't want the judge. Right. We don't want God. We want a king yes. like all other nations. Oh, all right. All right. History repeats itself. Yes. Read on. Lying children, children that will not hear the law of the Lord. Lying children, children that no longer want to hear the word, don't no longer want to be told what they can and can't do. Uh -huh. I hear a lot of preachers on television now telling the people, hey amen, that we've reduced God down to a bunch of laws, do's and don'ts. And when you just reduce salvation to a bunch of regulation and law, you become, that's legalism. Oh, and that's legalism. God, oh. not, salvation is about grace. It's about to be saved by grace and that not of faith, not of your works, however scripture goes. 
Alright. You know, Galatians 2, 8 and 9, amen. amen. But they probably say, since salvation came by grace, they say, once you save, you can't you can't fall, you can't backslide. Once you can save, you can do whatever you want to do. You can't go to hell unless a lie for devil's mouth. Oh, oh my God. God. Amen. I come to tell you the truth, amen. But read on. He said, praise God. This is a rebellious people, lying children, children, which will not hear the law of the Lord. Read. We say to the seer, uh -huh. say not. They're telling the people of God, they're telling the prophets, don't, don't, you know, I know you're saying what God tells you, but what they mean by see not, don't tell us. Act like you don't see. Lie to us. Read. And to the prophets, prophesy not unto us right thing. Uh huh. Speak unto us smooth. What kind of thing? Smooth thing. Tell me something good. All right, man. How many of you ever heard people on the, all on the radio and TV? Prophets that don't come to tear you down. Prophets that come to edify you and build you up. Ultimately, it will build you up. But sometimes, you're going to be told just like God told me. In right. four days, I'm going to destroy you. We're going to repent. Every prophet ain't going to be good to you. All right. It may be good for you, but it ain't going to be good to you. Right? All right. Sometimes, you got to have a hard word in order to be healed. All right. All these wives trying to tell this stuff, praise God, and it ain't coming to when you give them a word. Then they sin, but then when you tell them what God said, you heard they feel it, so it's not God. All right. Somehow I learned, but this is a rebellious people. They no longer want to hear the law of the Lord, and they tell the prophets, or the preachers, the prophets, whoever God sent to us, don't tell me that. All right. Tell me something good. Mm -hmm. Read on. You prophesy deceits. Tell us a lie. Lie to us. Read. Get you, get you out of the way. Wait. Get you out of the way. These are the people of God now. They're telling right. the people, the people that God sent to them with a word, amen. All they right. said, get you out of the way. What way is that? I said, third five, and they said, a highway shall be there and a way. Anyway. Right. And it shall be called the right. way of holiness. Right. And all clean beast going to be a no right. right. beast. And if God trying to get you to stop being a ravenous beast, being unclean, right. and you say it hurt your feelings, right. Get out of the way. Yeah. Oh, oh, you, right you gotta put a difference between clean and yeah. unclean. Amen. Hold it, I'm holy. Amen. Second Corinthians 7 and 1, the Apostle Paul told the Corinthian church, have therefore having these promises to the beloved, let us cleanse ourselves from all filthiness of the flesh and the spirit. Doing what? From faith and holiness in the fear of God. When you call yourself holy, you have step holiness in the fire of God. Amen. Rebellion. When we fail to obey what God told us to do, but we don't live by the doctrine. Amen. Many times I hear people testify about preachers saying they catch the preacher drinking, they catch him chasing the women, they catch him still talking to his wife. I got some on the phone in the back room somewhere, and then next thing you know, praise God, they say, Amen. But uh, Pastor, you should be talking to Sister Moore about that, and Sister Moore ain't there. Well, I don't do as I do, do as I say. All right. That's not the scripture. Amen. All right. Paul said, follow me as I follow Christ. If I don't follow Christ, then don't you follow me. All right. Doctrine, what I'm trying to say, everybody in the church must follow doctrine. Yes. Doctrine is the teaching of Christ. Amen. All right. That's what makes us be disciples. All right. We follow us of his teaching. Amen. Amen. All right. Now, he said, get you out of the way. Turn us out on the path. What? Call the Holy One of Israel to cease from before us. All right, call the Holy One of Israel to cease from before us. But you got churches nowadays, every time we look around, a new church coming up, what's your faith? We, we not in All right. That's a church with no foundation. All right. That's a church. The nomination simply means, this is my belief. This is what we founded upon. Mm -hmm. Right. I believe in Ephesians 2, 19 and 20, Jesus didn't leave you wandering. He built the church. All right. In chapter of Acts. But in Ephesians 2, 19 and 20, he said, You are therefore no more far as a stranger, right. but a fellow citizen of the saints and of the household of God, and are built upon the foundation of the doctrine of who? The apostles and prophets, Jesus Christ himself being the chief to understand. Amen. If you're going to be in a church, you're going to be in a church that was founded upon what they taught. Why is it important to the follow, follow the apostle doctrine? Amen. If I do, if you go, amen, to Hebrews, the second chapter, I believe he was separated. Got to read it. Hebrews 2, sound like the third verse, you find this one. How shall we escape if we neglect so great salvation? Start at the first, but Hebrews 2 and 1, what did it say? 
Therefore, we ought to give the more earnest heed to the things which we have heard. We ought to pay attention to what we talk. All right. Jesus said, he that hath an ear, let him hear what the Spirit has to say unto the church. And if the Spirit of the Lord is upon me to teach you, to lead you, don't sit there texting. All right. Don't sit there reading the love novel. Yeah. Don't sit there on the telephone talking to somebody in another church because it's not your favorite yeah. Don't sit there and go to sleep. Amen. This is not a place to sleep. Oh, yeah. People come to church for some things and everything, but give the other by the attention of God, the word going forth, and then they don't hang here the word to say it. Alright now. As long as the mess, as long as the shower is going on, you hear what I'm saying, Mr. Moore? The right. music is going on, they like the shower. Go ahead. Alright. Alright. You hear what I'm saying? Playing going on, they're only clapping up there, trying to hope you. But let the word go forth. Alright. It's time to sleep there. Yeah. Some of the brothers got to go out and take a smoke. Some go in the bathroom, but after a while, the pews look like this. Alright. You hear what I'm saying? Some just come for the singing anyway. Amen. And then read on. Get on those guys. He's a thing that you have heard. Read. Lest at any time we should let them steal. If you don't pay attention, the devil waiting to steal the word. Didn't he say that soul went forth a soul? He sold a seed, some fell on good ground, some fell on stone ground, some fell by the wayside. But when they explained that parable, the word, the seed was the word of God. All right. And when Amen. he sold that seed out there to you, you didn't pay attention. Your heart was not broke up. You didn't have a pen of heart. You wasn't paying attention. That seed just hit on a little hard heart and fell by the wayside. All right. And when Satan came and took it away, Jesus. Amen. You went out there and got in trouble the next week because you didn't hear what the Lord told you to do for that week. All right. Amen. You didn't hear what the Lord said. You forgot it. So it's like you never heard it. Read on. For if the word spoken by angels. If the word spoken by the angels. Was steadfast. Uh -huh. And every transgression and disobedience received. A just recompense. Every time you transgress God's law and disobey Him, you receive a just recompense. You got just what you want. When you disobey the man, every sin will be punished. You was punished for that. If all, if every sin is transgressed, Amen. Receive a just recompense of reward. What happened? How should we escape if we neglect so great salvation? How are we gonna get by if we neglect? All right. We neglect. Yes. Yeah. Neglect that means you've been told what to do, but you don't do it. All right. You it ain't like you haven't been told. Read on. Which at the first begins to be spoken by the Lord. Here we go. And the first it began to be spoken by the Lord. Jesus came. He was the chief cornerstone. He brought the message of salvation. But after bringing it, then what happened? And was confirmed unto us by them that heard him. Jesus didn't teach us. The right. apostles laid the foundation. Paul right. said, Amen. I laid the foundation. I mean, praise God. Other foundations can no man lay that that was already laid. That is on Christ Jesus. Yeah. But that's why I said the apostles doctrine that the teacher that you got to go by. All right. It was not John Cameron. All it was right. not John Luther. No. I said, All right now. In the church that opened up this day and time, got to teach the same thing that taught on the day of Pentecost. and tell what doctrine they, they taught on the day of Pentecost. What did they teach you that? And they continue steadfast. They, wait, they started out in it? They continued mean they were already in it yeah. and they were not about to say it. They continue yeah. steadfast mean I'm in this thing yeah. so I don't care what happened, I don't care who did what, I'm in this thing and like, they continue steadfast and look, the in the apostles' doctrine, in fellowship, and in breaking the bread, the Lord said, who shall be saved from this doctrine? You start teaching folk what they need to know to be saved nowadays, they're going to tell you we don't believe right now. All right, amen. My pastor said, well, who's your pastor there for? All right. If I'm going to do a work, amen, praise God, I got to do it. Just like the word said. Paul right. said in 1 Corinthians, if any man be spiritual, let him acknowledge that the things that I say are true. Yeah. You can't be a man of God and call the Paul the rest of the apostles of life. All right. That's why it's so much yes. confusion in the so-called church world. All right. Every man thinks they got the right to get up and teach what they want to teach. All right. Amen. Amen. Whom shall they make to no doctrine? Praise God. All right. All right. But he went on, he didn't even believe he wanted to hang him when he said, Whom shall they make to no doctrine? All right, he didn't have an answer there. 
Them that are weaned from the milk. All right now. Them that are drawn from the breast. All right. A newborn babe can't really understand donkey. Tell it. You teach him. What am I talking about? When we first born again filled with the Holy Ghost, we are newborn babes in Amen. Christ. All right. I can tell that baby, go over there and pick up the clothes out the floor. All right. That baby look at you and the blow on spit bubble. You don't know. All right. You can try to train him. Now look, son, yeah. I want you to use the bathroom on yourself. Get up, go use the bathroom. All right. He don't understand what you're saying. Hallelujah. He got to learn. Yeah. He got to get older. You understand Amen. what I'm saying? But yeah. here's what God is trying to say to us. When we get to the point that saints of God, that we don't know, no longer want to be told what to do, even though you say, you never get to the point to where you don't want to be All corrected. Right. All right. Some folk get so old, they don't want to be telling them what to do. That's right. God said, you amen, it's a sin, amen, praise God. If you defile the temple of God, him, God will destroy. You got high blood pressure and can't quit eating pork. All right. All right. You got high blood pressure and there's low enough salt. Yeah. Maybe they know you did. The drunk pass them out. All right. Tell right. me. Right. Right. somebody to bring you some bacon. They cook bacon. Well, Sister Mo don't have high blood pressure. She enjoying bacon. All right. And you sitting there looking at it, bring me some of that bacon. Well, mother, I'm not going to bring you in a bacon. You got high blood pressure. I'm 90 years old, and if I want some bacon, uh-huh. You don't do that. You understand what I'm saying? We are not to help you destroy your body. That's right. I don't, I don't smoke. It's a sin to smoke. It's a sin for me to go to the store and buy a pack of cigarettes. All right. It's a sin for me to go to the sick pack and bring it out to you. Amen. But I'm not to strengthen the hand of the evil All right. But you got people get upset when you try to tell them whether you don't need that salt. All right, now. You're a diabetic. Mm hmm Already, you can't hardly feel your foot. It's numb, but you're over there. Every time I look around, you can cut off a piece of chocolate cake because we'll nobody get it to you. All right. Tell it. Teach it. That's right. You're responsible to keep your children. That's right. When you get to the place you don't want to be told what to do, well, let's go to another doctor. Go to Hebrews 12. Hebrews 11. Hebrews 11, I'm, I'm going to tell you what God said about that. When you get to the place where you just don't want to be told what to do, go to tell folks how old you are. Yeah. Amen. Doctor, mm -hmm. you must always, amen, abide by doctor. The older you get, I'm, I'm old. Well, I'm not quite old as everybody in here. Amen. Back at Hebrews 12, starting at the 11th verse. Wait, excuse me. I'm too far down. Hebrews 12 and 5. Thank you. He was 12 and 5. I want you to see what happened when you get to the place. You done got so grown, so mature, that nobody can tell you now. He was 12 and 5. All right. And ye have forgotten the exhortation which speaketh unto you as unto children. Uh -huh. right. My son, despise not the chastening of the Lord. Despise not the chastening of the Lord. What is chastening? That's Amen. correction. Amen. Amen. And we all got to become as little children. I don't care if you're 90 years old. All right. Yeah. That's right, man. The oldest person in the, in the church got to always submit to the authority. Yes. He, I mean, yes. Romans 13 and 1 says, there is no power but, but God. Power. The power that be ordained of God. Yes. Amen. You may be a policeman or a judge or whatever, uh, or whatever your profession is. You know, sometimes or maybe you got a position, a congressman, a mayor. If the mayor of the city was in the city, he have to submit himself to the authority of the God who is All right. Amen. You hear what I'm saying? Amen. Amen. But now, read on just in case. Finish reading, sister. Nor faith when thou art rebuked again. Don't get upset. When you've been rebuked, don't faint, fall out and have a fit. All right. Don't go to church for a week. Tell it. Pastor, get upset when you say something to you and then pray to God and tell you about your wrong. You get upset. All right. Sister, be careful now. You know, you don't need to be drinking too much of that water back there. Now, right now, tell it. Tell you it. Tell you, just take anything. You tell you any little thing to call your name, I'll call attention to you. When the pastor tells you something, you quiet. All right. It's a chill on the service. Yeah. We like to so to come out the testimony service. Tell it. That's right. good. Next time she, she do come to church, next time she get up a testimony service, I don't know why. I got to cry sometimes. I don't know why, Lord. 
I have to sign sometimes. It's always a negative. You got to sign a song and let somebody know your feelings been hurt. All right. I know why you got to cry sometimes. I know why you got to sign sometimes. Because you're hard All right. I am dead. Amen. Did he say you were going to put an to talk about this morning? If you be obedient, then a blessing will overtake you. But if you don't obey, then a blessing will overtake you. A lot of times because we bring on ourselves, we're blaming somebody else. Amen. We don't know why. Yes, you do. Yes, I do. People always eating the salt and know they got high blood pressure. Yes, they do. Yeah, 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 they when it comes to being a child of God being saint, we will never get to the point that God will not correct us. Tell it. And let me let you hear the rest of it. Read on, sister. It's good down there. Read, read, read. For whom the Lord loveth, he hated. For whom the Lord hated, he loveth. Oh, you see, the Lord loveth you. What did he do? He changed it. 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 Chasing the correct scourge, man. You remember Jesus went to the temple and made a scourge? Yes, he did. What was he doing? Was he fussing at him? He whooped him. He was beating him and turning over the table. That's right. He's going to whoop you over here. That's right. You're going to get a whoop. Don't think he's going to do that for five minutes. That's right. Read on. Uh-huh. Every son whom he received is No, no, just a bad son. Every son. Every son. Every son. Every child of God that come into the kingdom is born again. You will have to be correct, or sometimes you have to be whipped. All right, now. Did I read something that wasn't No, sir, that's the word. It's in the word. I read a long time. Yeah, that's the word. That every son that come into the kingdom is born again. You will have to be correct, or sometimes you have to be whipped. Now, right now. Did I read something that wasn't in the word? It's in the word. It's written here. You in the book. If you can talk to child tonight, Johnny, I don't want you to do that. Now stop, stop teasing yourself, stop pulling her hair. If you stop, <laughs> all you have to do is chase her, correct her, tell her, I don't want you pulling yourself his hair. If you stop, that's fine. All right. But read on. Well, what son is he whom the father chases not? But the other side of that thing, now, if you tell him to stop and he stops his mama quit and yank it again because he's mad, all right. You know, even if he stop pulling and go stomp his foot looking at his mama, he going to get a whoop. All right. He's the one going to get scorched. All right. If you didn't do a chase, then if you thank God for being corrected, and if thank God and go home, don't stick your mouth out powerfully, man. You get out right and get a whoop. All right. But when you get a whooping, you brought this on yourself. That's right. When I grew up back down in the country, Mr. Moore, back, back down here, I had one of the old-fashioned days. They would be with a stretcher cord that was child abuse. Oh no straight on stretcher cords. Oh Four boys were the oldest, but we was tough. He brought us to it. Yeah, all right. Thank you, Lord. Don't go do it again. All right. I know that's but good. But we outside in the rain, and when he said, I don't want y'all y'all get in the house out that rain, he wasn't going to tell you no two or three times. That's right. He'd leave from home, and he would look in the rear view mirror. We run back out the back door playing on the water. He'd come right back home and line us up from the oldest down to the youngest. I'm the third oldest. I had to watch the two older brothers get a woman while I'm sitting there waiting on my turn. All right. Amen. If we had to stay in the house, we would have got a woman. That's right. Amen. But the bottom line is, even though it might be seven children, if six of them disobeyed, and I didn't go out there, well, I, I didn't have to get a woman. That's I right. Mm -hmm. oh. Yeah. Amen. <laughs> every child that's born into the kingdom, every oh, son watch. God said, you got to learn to obey Father's instructions. Amen. Got to. Who are you to think that you can't be told nothing? That's right. That's right. Let me tell y'all something. Moses was one of the greatest leaders Israel had. Mm -hmm. Moses took instruction from his father in law. That's right. Yes, he did. Moses was sitting down. He had a great challenge trying to lead that multitude across the wilderness. But while he was sitting there, 
Just like I said, fish in the location, people get upset. Fuck the law. And Moses, it's Moses. Moses sitting up from sun up to sun now, listening, mm -hmm. trying to judge. And Moses' father asked the son, it's too much on you. That's right. It sure is. You don't need to be bothered with all this. All this all right. Right. What you need to do is, mm -hmm. you take captives. You find somebody uh, that kind of got a little wisdom and put them over thousands, over hundreds, over fifty. Let them deal with that. And if it come up through the ranks and you got a problem that none of them can handle, then let it come to you. Yes, but Moses took the counsel of his father-in-law and it took a lot of the weight off of him. Amen. You know what you think around here now? You can't tell me nothing. All right. All right. Preacher was saying that. God Amen. sent you to them with a message. Who are you? That's right. I'm Bishop so-and-so. Mm -hmm. I'm Apostle so and so. Peter was one of the ones that came out of the upper room. Oh Apostle Peter had the keys to the kingdom. Paul did not get a chance to walk with the Lord like Peter did. Oh but when Peter got it wrong. Mm -hmm. He was in Jerusalem, and when the Jews, when the Jews came, the Gentiles had been filled, I believe. All right, now. And when Peter saw. The rest of the Jews come and Peter with the bag and off on the Gentiles because it's like they still don't consider not clean. All right. Paul saw Peter acting like this. All right. Paul walked up to Peter and rebuked him in front of everybody. Amen. Peter took it. Yes, he did. He went on. All right. Who are we to think we can't be correct? That's right. I'm the pastor of the church, and sometimes the truth be told, my wife or somebody come and tell me, like, Pastor, no matter if you call me by my title, I'm Pastor. Right. I thank God a little bit of what I'm trying to say is sometimes correction comes to my wife. Mm -hmm. She don't run the church, but I know that God gave up to me to be a help me to help me. Right. Sometimes man, you can get angry and mess up. Did Moses do it? Yes, he did. He messed up on the promised land. All right. God told him to speak to the rock and he he struck the rock. Yes. And called him rebel. Yes. yes. Now, what's wrong with that? God told Moses, I'm going to destroy all these people. Lord, if you destroy them, destroy me too. Mm -hmm. If you destroy them, take them. He stood in the way and wouldn't let God got angry. He wouldn't let God destroy them. All right. But they kept on and made Moses angry. That's it. Got then it he got up there and struck the rock. And then the hard night said, you rebel, shall we provide love? You ain't doing nothing. Wait, wait, wait Moses, wait. What you say? Right. Shall we? You, you didn't do what I told you. just obey me. You didn't do what I told you. Sure enough. You didn't do what I told you. All right, man. You not going to the promise. We are not. Look over there. See how I put it there? Help me, Lord God. You can see the problem there, but you ain't going to cross. All right, now. This was not the first time Moses messed up. That's right. Moses' wife had to save his life. Yeah. God was going to kill Moses. Amen. Y'all don't know that, did Mm-hmm. Moses had not circumcised his son. All right. And Zipporah took a piece of glass or something and cut it. She stuck outside and then threw the foreskin at her husband. Uh, Moses being told her, you a bloody husband to me. So because the Lord would have killed him if Zipporah hadn't went on circumcised Isaac. Yeah. Because as a leader, he should have been first partaker. He Goshen. should have... Who? Goshen, wasn't it? Goshen? Goshen. What? You said Moses. Who did I say? You said uh, Isaac. Thank you. Thank you. Goshen. Ger Gershon. 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 Thank you, Moses' oldest son. Amen. I said, I that's your this answer. Thank you. I said, what I'm trying to help me. <laughs> Thank you, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. But Moses' oldest son had not been circumcised. Right. He was supposed to be circumcised the eighth day, and his wife circumcised him for him. And All that right. kept God from killing her husband. All right. Thank God you got somebody to step in and help you. Yes, Lord. But thanks to God, we're going to have to know doctrine. We have never get to the point of where we will not be able to be taught. You got to be weaned from the breast. You can't be a baby. That's if right. you're 50 years old, you say you've been saved in the church 50 years, and you still cannot stand to be corrected, can't stand to be taught nothing, you still want the breast. All right. You still obey the Christ. Amen. Then Paul said a time come that you have come that you ought to be teachers. Jesus. You should be. You have been in church long enough to be able to teach somebody else. But since you so calm, you rebelled against the truth. You're not accepting it. All you right. still say, You still got to need somebody to put a pacifier in your mouth. All right, now. You're not qualified to leave. All right. We got to mature, God. Yeah. Amen. Whom shall the Lord make to know doctrine? All right. Let's look at ourselves, saints. Amen. I don't care what it is. There's one point where we fall short. How long does it take a baby to learn to tie a shoe? Mm. 
They had an issue on television a while not long ago. Some women were still breastfeeding. The child five years old still still on the breast. Oh, too old. And there's a time limit on that. Yeah. Well, he's still alive. Give him time. Uh -uh. He's all too old. Oh. All right, now. Somebody said, when the cheese come in, oh no, he needs to be on food. Yeah. Yeah. Got a full rack. All right, now. got a baby so big, they can't get black like eat all the midget. They can't hold him at all. He, he needs to be on food. All right, now. Tell it. God is not going to carry you all the time. That's right. He'll give you an opportunity the time comes when you all learn. And if we don't learn, then he'll pass over you to get somebody else. Yes, he will. Hosea 4 and 6. My people are destroyed the for the light of God. But he didn't say because nobody told you. If you read the rest of the verse, because thou has rejected yes. knowledge. You heard what he said. All you right. understood it, but you just didn't want to do it. Reject it. Because thou have rejected knowledge, I will also, also reject, reject you. Whom oh, shall it make to no doctrine? No, no All right now. You got to be taught. Don't fall into this thing coming up in the day and time now where you, it's just non-denominational or whatever. You come, you do whatever you want. Okay. That way you don't hurt nobody's feelings. Don't you know when it comes to teaching the gospel, somebody's going to be offended? All right now. They got offended at Jesus. Yes, they did. Yeah, that's from 4 and 16. The Apostle Paul asked the question. Have if I, I become, become your enemy, enemy because, because I'm I'm I tell you the truth? People are going to get upset with you. All, All right. right. Amen. That's why the church looks like this. All right. Because I won't teach what everybody else teach. That's right. That's what one, one man told me at a radio station here in town. Before we, the Lord bless us about this building, we'd have a service in a shotgun house. Brother had a radio station and he told me, if you tone it down and preach what everybody else preach, I'll preach the whole of hell. All right. So if you preach what everybody else preach, I'll buy you a church. Mm. That's what he told me. I said, well, I'll tell you what. You ask me to do something I can't do. Well, I can't do it, but I won't. All right. I can't miss friends. I'm leaving friends. Amen. And I left that station and then go back. I kept preaching holiness of hell. All Lord right. Lord kept us on, on KCAT. We kept staying on the door for 20 years. All right. And God bless us with a bill that most of this bunch are already in. Amen. I didn't compromise with you. Praise God. But when you know God and know what you stand on, you're going to be trying to see whether or not you're going to believe it yourself. All right. All right. If you believe the doctrine of Christ, you believe what this book said, can't nobody come and take it from you so easy. All right, Amen. now. God bless you. I thank God for your few words. Pray my strength and God. Amen. the Lord make to understand doctrine. Amen. We know in this time, day and time that so many people have left doctrine the teaching. Yes, Lord. They have left or put off yes. Amen, the word of God. And so many people, young people in this day and time they don't know. They don't know because Amen. most of the mothers and have died off the scene or the older uh, prophets and uh, uh, apostles or bishops have died off the scene and they just started, the next generation just started doing whatever they want to do. All right, now. Not teaching the people, uh -uh. not telling them what to do, uh -uh. how to live. Tell and it. so the Lord's going to know whom shall the Lord make to understand doctrine. First of all, you got to want to understand. That's right. Amen. Amen. You want to be saved, you're going to want the truth. That's right. Hurts or not. All right. Hebrews about he scourges those whom he loves. And the same thing in this day and time is natural. So you have to teach those children to live for society because you're not going to live forever. Amen. All right. You have to teach them how to do things because you're not going to live forever. Amen. So you, they have to be ch chastised and corrected. So That's they right. may go out. Amen. And do something with their lives and do something. Amen. Because you just can't let a child run. A child can't raise Amen. himself. That's right. Can't be done. That's the job of the parent or the leader. All right, now. The Lord is teaching us that we may go out and be a light and to teach. Amen. Now you're back in the hands of our 